Okay, for her. Y'all go ahead and watch this video. <laughs> what is up, you guys, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, today I'm giving you guys a full get ready with me. And when I say full, I mean a full get ready with me. Just wait to see what my hair looked like before this. Just wait. Okay, we transformed, baby. We are a whole new person, and that's on finish the sentence part okay but yeah we have beautiful beauty forever hair have a nice little fit on the makeup's looking real nice and cute please do not mind my nail that is missing okay i broke it in florida it was a wild trip but we're not gonna get into that but i love y'all so much i hope you guys enjoy the video get the cute little outfit action okay let's see the let's see the oh she actually waited to deem me we finna fix that right quick ain't got no time for nobody to be talking outfit check we looking real nice and cute so i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all tune into this video but i hope you guys enjoy and i'll catch y'all at the end of the video bye guys all right so please bear with me i know i'm looking rough right now like rough is not even the word but y'all we gonna get it together we gonna get it together this is gonna be like a full get ready with me like hair makeup all that okay we got the natural hair out in its natural state okay not styled nothing we just looking a hot mess but we gonna get it we gonna get it together so y'all gonna see me looking a little rough for a minute but y'all seen the intro y'all see what the girl looking like okay you see what she's giving so we're gonna give that but we gotta start somewhere and right now we're starting here so it's a bit of a struggle but we just gonna get there so i'm trying out this new setup i've never done my makeup here i did film a video here i filmed two videos here actually but this is like new as far as doing my makeup here so please bear with me i'm gonna be looking over here because y'all can see this one here which y'all can see in the mirror um and i have like this i feel like i'm doing a client like the way that my makeup is laid out here we have it all it's gonna get better as you go let's just go ahead and get started because y'all not here for all that talk all right so i'm gonna be using a few new makeup products that I've actually been loving but like I haven't really said nothing done nothing with them yet we're gonna keep it on the DL because I really want to do a video of me using new makeup products even though technically they're not new because I've used them already introducing y'all to some new products you know what I mean don't mind my voice okay I actually just got back from Florida baby and let me tell you that trip was a movie okay if the vlogs aren't out by this time I think it's gonna be like three if the vlogs aren't out by the time this video goes up, please get ready because when I tell y'all this trip was a freaking movie, it was crazy. And I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. And that's on purr. Yeah, the last time y'all saw me, my brows were in a different shape. Y'all tell me why. Tell me why I went somewhere and got my brows done for the first time. I always do my own brows. I have always done them and never let anyone else touch them. I always do that myself. Tell me why I went to a nail salon they did it and i don't know like i like them but i don't really know if i love them like they're really thin for me i don't know if y'all are gonna be able to tell like a difference but i feel like they're like extremely thin thin like they're there but like i like thick brows i've always had like pretty thick brows and i just feel like it's real thin and it's not giving that much am i tripping y'all let me know do y'all like the new brow shape what's up with it but anyways so now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to concealing but yeah i literally just got well that's an exaggeration not just got back from florida but i got back like less than a week ago we were in florida i was like gone from my house for almost a full seven days like it's kind of crazy to think about that trip was so long but it went so quick it's weird it went so quick but then also i feel like we were there forever which we kind of were like it was kind of in between we weren't gone too long it wasn't too quick we actually ended up staying an extra day than what we originally planned but i would do it all over again in a heartbeat when i tell y'all i met how many i met so many new people on that trip when i tell y'all that trip was amazing i wouldn't change the group that we went with for nobody like i love that trip actually i would change it because i would bring my girls gabby and Haley. i would because i think it would have been 10 times better if they were
were there and I think they would have had an amazing time. Schedule conflicts and all that, they just couldn't go, which is understandable. But like, I wish they were there for real. That trip was freaking amazing. I think everyone enjoyed it. We had our ups and downs, okay? There was a bit of drama on the trip. I'm not gonna get into all that. I mean, we're here now, everyone's good, and we obviously had a blast. I don't even know how else to say it, but like, I would do that trip literally every single thing over again in a heartbeat. I'll do every single thing all over again. But yeah, we went for Jaden's birthday. Yeah, I vlogged everything if you haven't seen it, but we went for his birthday. He turned 19. It was so fun. If you didn't know, I met Jaden at Southern. He went to Georgia Southern. That's where we met. Um, Sadly, he's not returning. I think I've briefly talked about it because he didn't even return second semester. But yeah, he doesn't go to Southern anymore, which I hate. Since he's left, we've gotten closer, I feel like and I feel like he would say the same. I can't even explain to you how much we relate but like balance each other out. It's like and I just hate that he's not going to be there. I'm going to start priming the fact that he's not going to be there this year. If you don't know Jaden like I wish everyone had the chance to and I want him to like watch this video with no prior knowledge of what I'm saying. I wish everyone had the chance to meet Jaden. I hope everyone has a Jaden in their life. Best I can do is lead you guys to his TikTok. He does have a TikTok TikTok and he just got acknowledged by the one and only Nikki Minaj, Queen Nikki. Yes, her herself, her indeed. Go and check him out. I'll put like a pop tag on the screen for y'all to go and watch his TikToks and support him. But yeah, we went for his birthday, went to Daytona Beach, Florida. We actually stayed like right outside of Daytona. I think it was Port Orange. I think it was a few different cities like really close, but I believe it was Port Orange. We got an Airbnb. I left here on the 18th. Um, um, and me and Rodney met up. We drove together to Jaden's house. We stayed there for a night and then we left on the 19th and headed to Florida. Jaden and the gang, everyone else that went is from Jaden's hometown. So that's just why we met up there. So the trip plans, we have the Airbnb from the 19th to the 22nd. Tell me why. Should I give y'all a story time in this, in this video? Tell me why. We almost got kicked out. Like the owners pulled up and everything. So we're just chilling. We were all talking, reminiscing about the night before and everything and we heard the doorbell and a knock and we were like um we're all here so who is outside so jason gets up because he's ballsy after he gets up i'm literally talking to christian and ari and i'm like what if that's the owners like literally joking and jason opens the door and like i kind of like just end up creeping out there just to be nosy or whatever so he opens the door and they're like do y'all know where blah 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 is he was like, no, this is an Airbnb and we just rented it out for the weekend or whatever or for the week. They were like, oh, I know we're the owners. Where is da 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 da? And we were like, what? And after I heard the name, I didn't hear it the first time, but I heard it the second time and I was like, oh, that's Rodney's mother. So, I mean, we knew this in the rule book. It said that you had to be 25 or older to book, but we weren't thinking one, we weren't thinking that like they actually had to stay there. Like we just needed someone to have have like responsibility over us which I feel like a lot of places are unless I'm like completely oblivious and second we didn't think nobody was gonna come and check up on us I like heard them and I was like crap that's literally Rodney's mom while Rodney's in the shower they were like is she like near tell her to come like what's going on and we were like oh that's our friend's mom she's not staying here and or Jason's pretty much doing all the talking they're like so how old are y'all and then they're like 19 19 19 whatever and they're like so none of y'all are at least 21 and I was like I'm 21 they were like well if you read the rule book and everything it says that you have to be 25 to book we were like well we didn't know that they had to stay here no if anything happens to y'all we can get in trouble like we're responsible for y'all everything we were like oh my gosh we didn't know like we're so sorry and all of this and while we're talking the wife is like it was a couple and the wife was like where do y'all live like do y'all live near here like how far away do y'all live and we we're like we live in Georgia and um or the wife was like oh Oh, that's not too bad four and a half hours away from here like it's not that late y'all can make it and in my head I'm like is she really finna kick us out like we literally have checkout the next morning at 10 a.m mind you it's like five in the afternoon so I was like 
we literally leave tomorrow like I'm confused but they're like they got noise complaints for some reason we did kind of party a little hard the night before so I guess it makes sense that they got a noise complaint but I'm not gonna get into every single thing like you can either read between the lines on the vlog or just not get it at all because there was so much that happened that weekend I don't even I don't even have like the lung capacity to even begin to tell y'all what happened they're like the neighbors have been complaining or whatever we just decided to check it out and it turns out the adult isn't here Jay Jaden comes up, of course, with his personality or whatever, and he's like, we literally check out tomorrow, like, we're not gonna do anything in the house tonight, because we were going out that night, and we were just like, we're leaving tomorrow at 10 in the morning, and everything, and then the, the husband was like, way more understanding, because the wife was ready to literally kick us out, like, when I heard her say, oh, it's not that bad, y'all can still make it, I was like, yo my heart like sank the husband was like more chill about it and he kind of just like let it go or whatever the wife still wasn't really with it but then she was just like yeah make sure that y'all tell blah 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 i'm not gonna say his mom's name but they're like make sure you tell blah 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 that she has to be here when she books and everything like that's how airbnb works and all this stuff you're like oh, okay okay thank you so much and then um jaden kind of like talked them like sweet talked them a little bit more and then we're like yeah thank you we're so sorry have a good night and after that happened literally as soon as they left and we closed the door Rodney walks out and I'm like Rodney tell me why the owners just pulled up and asked for your mother tell me why we got a noise complaint last night they pulled up and asked for your mother I feel like like we were very respectful of the house and everything I guess we just got a little too loud and just wasn't paying attention it wasn't the music or anything I think somebody just went outside and just was loud I'm pretty sure that's what happened I don't think like it was us genuinely just being loud and obnoxious and annoying I think somebody like just went outside and wasn't paying attention to what they they were doing and just got a little too loud I think we were very respectful of the property we we scrubbed that house when we left like y'all should have seen we had checkout tell us why we went to the club the night before and we had to check out by 10 which doesn't seem that early but when you went out the night before baby it was pretty what time did i don't even know we were up late pretty much and 10 a.m was early we were all like struggling to get up when i tell you when everybody got up when everybody finally got up it was like we were mad men like everybody was running around the house cleaning picking up throwing out something and we scrubbed like wax like full blown mopped swept wiped everything with bleach like we cleaned everything that house was left spotless so that's one thing that they can't say we were very respectful it was just we got a noise complaint and the fact that we were technically under the age of what they wanted to stay there but i mean i do apologize if they do watch or whatever we were very clean and honored your house and your home like we tried our hardest to keep it as clean as possible like i'm pretty ocd any of my friends know like at a party i'm gonna be the one if anybody i'm gonna be the one cleaning up at the end of the party i promise you that so i'm gonna make sure it's clean and that's one thing that you can't say i may keep my room a little messy my closet whatever say that about me but i ain't never gonna leave nobody else's space looking crazy and that's on per even if it wasn't me i'm always gonna keep it clean and that's on per i mean we haven't gotten any complaints from them saying anything rodney made sure to take pictures after we left or to make sure that they didn't like try and charge us after we left just because we are underage I mean, charge us because we were underage, but don't charge us because we left the house a mess because we definitely did it. And the house was spotless and we finished before it was even time for us to check out. And yeah, we made sure to get out of there. We made sure not to be late too because we didn't want to, you know, make them out even more because they were already doing us a favor to be honest. If they wanted to, they could have kicked us out, but they didn't. So thank y'all for that because the rest of the trip was amazing. But yeah, I genuinely, if we would have gotten kicked out, I would have been so mad. The struggles, if y'all only knew how much I struggled to find a place place to book for this trip how much i struggled to like make sure everybody like we had money in order trying to find a way to send it in because my bank wasn't letting me spend that much money the struggle was real and if i would have gotten kicked out i would have been so furious i would have screamed legit would have thrown a tantrum i mean we made it through the trip it was so much fun like ridiculously fun i haven't even been explaining what i was doing technically i didn't say that it was gonna be like me explaining what i was doing y'all can kind of see the technique is pretty much the same i'm just using either more or like a more full coverage product my day y'all i feel like my makeup tutorials are pretty self-explanatory though like you can see what i'm doing mm. don't get her real nice and bright and tight okay tell me why i'm so blind like <laughs> i am blind oh his face is coming together though i haven't done full beat face in a long time but she's giving like i thought i was gonna forget what i needed to do but i definitely did it 
correcting she's giving she is giving y'all are probably like um girl the last tutorial you did was pretty full coverage it was but it wasn't like for me full coverage is like a cake face like what i'm doing now what i was doing before i was using a skin tint like it was really just like a concealer face but this is like full-blown foundation full-blown cream contour which i do use regularly but i used a little bit more a little more layers of concealer like this is different it's hitting different y'all know that stop trying to Stop trying to make this something that it's not. It's definitely giving a bit more than I do on the daily. That other routine is what I do on the daily. Or like if I'm if somebody's like, hey, let's go out tonight. That's that's the routine I'll do. But if I'm really like specifically getting ready, like if I was doing like a birthday glam or like really getting ready, like we specifically taking pictures or something, this is what I would do, which is like more rare. But she's cute. She's coming together real nice okay if y'all really want to see i'll do a separate tutorial of me explaining everything that i'm doing i feel like for the most part y'all can kind of see what i did i'm sorry <laughs> but we about to go ahead and bronze what else can i catch y'all up on i don't know if the videos are gonna be out by now if if they are i'm gonna have to cut it out but like i don't know should i i'm gonna just say i have something exciting coming up whether the videos are out or not but i just have something exciting coming up like i'm genuinely so excited i don't think i mean i guess y'all y'all probably won't be as excited as i am but i am genuinely excited like i don't think i've ever been this thrilled about something besides like the first time my mom said i could wear makeup like out in public but like other than that like i don't think i have ever been this excited about something but i'm genuinely so excited everything is in the works everything is coming together and your girl is just ready to do it i'm ready to do it it hasn't been done yet but it's coming together and I'm I'm excited, like more than excited. What I'm not excited about though is going back to school because why well, I feel like summer came and went so quick. Like the, that first month, maybe May, it went by a bit slow. Not slow, but just like, it went by slow. It was like a nice little summer moment, but June came around just a little bit faster than May. And when I tell you July was a blink of an eye, like tell me, it was just the fourth the other day. So what happened to the month of July? Who stole July from me? Why is it, what's today, the 27th? Why is that a thing? july come back to me please thank you respectfully but yeah who took july from me and if y'all like got to enjoy july and it was like peaceful and like long tell me what y'all did so i can do it next year because i feel like every time it happens the same way like may goes by pretty peacefully june goes by all right july just goes like that and then it's already august it's already time to go back to school and y'all i just finished summer school like just finished like the week that we were leaving for florida i had just taken my final like my final grades for summer haven't even been posted yet like that's how soon i just finished and i'm supposed to be going back to school in like two weeks why is that a thing and i gotta pack i gotta do all this i gotta do all that it's not like a just we're going back to school okay cool like i feel like college it hits different because or going back to college because like you don't really have to i don't know i don't know how to explain it i feel like people who are actually still in grade school are feeling it a bit more because i think they actually go back like next week because it's the 22nd we were going back like i went back on july 31st one year and it's the 27th my school doesn't go back until the 11th of august i just feel like it comes out of nowhere for college you don't necessarily have to do back to school shopping but you still gotta get stuff i mean i don't know if it's just me because last year i had the transition from high school to college so a lot of people kind of like helped me out in that sense since i'm going back it's the second year i'm kind of doing everything by myself i gotta think by myself i gotta do by myself i feel like i don't know what i'm doing i feel like i'm i'm gonna forget something like i gotta pack up my room i just got my closet how i wanted it and now i gotta pack stuff up i gotta go back to school I feel like everything's just hitting me at once. Is that just me? Or is somebody else feeling the same thing too? Anybody else going back to school or back to college specifically? Let me know if y'all feeling the same way because... <sighs> Moral of the story, summer came and went and I'm tired of it happening every year. Um, I'm gonna need them to get it together, add a month or whatever needs to happen to summer. But I'm tired of going back after a week of summer break. Especially since I just finished my summer classes. Like that is so rude. Can I breathe? 
thank you i did finish both classes i took two summer courses i took one that was a term summer course which baby i was a struggle i'm used to having stuff at a faster pace i've been in gifted programs and like accelerated programs all my life but like i had an a term b term class in spring of last year and that's already half of a normal semester so a normal semester you have this certain amount of months whatever an a term class is half of that so summer courses are already like is it like half like it's like half of a like a fourth of a semester a summer term is and i had to split that in half so i only had a class for a whole month but we had like all the same curriculum and when i tell you i had like two due dates a week and they were like projects like for real like no baby i was not trying to do all that i guess i didn't realize how quick it was gonna go because i did sign up i guess i didn't realize how quick it was gonna go but baby that that came quick week when i was realizing like midterms and final was coming up i was like wait a minute yeah it, it comes but i finished both classes with the a thank god thank the actual heavens because when i tell you i was getting tired your girl was tired tired ain't even a word I'm trying to see do i want to do highlighter or do i want to do like eyeshadow like what do i want what do i want when i get like a 96 on my last final i was like i'm done we could take it as much as we wanted to get 100 or whatever but still like it's still class i still had deadlines i still you know what i mean and i'm not for it i don't know why i act like i like school because i don't i don't know why i signed up for summer classes but i did and i regretted it i think i would probably do it again let's be real i probably would but it, next year probably Probably won't be the year that I do it if anything I'll probably do it like junior year maybe like summer after junior year I don't even know then though because after I taste what a little break is like I don't know if I'm gonna want to do that to myself again you know what I mean I think it's something wrong with me I think I like an addiction is an understatement of what I have for makeup because I will continuously buy and not use I use the same products and have been using the same products for how long I got lash extensions for the first time a week or two ago. I think maybe two weeks ago. I got it before we went to Florida. Like right before. I like them. I think they're you. I think they're definitely worth. Mm, mm, I think they work for some people, certain occasions or whatever. And I genuinely don't know if it was just because it was my first time getting it. It was like my eyes adjusting because I think I've heard people like having to adjust to it. But yeah, it was my first time. So I guess I'm gonna give it a little bit more leeway. That first night after I got them done, they were perfectly fine. I think that that next day it was fine too but the next day after that the day that we were traveling to go to Jaden when me and Ronnie were going y'all my eyes were watering non-stop and it would be randomly not like something gets in my eye not nothing it was just like randomly I'll be like why is my face itching I have to like dab my eyes a bit because it was burning when I got to Jaden's he was like are your lashes bothering you and I was like yeah and he was like why don't you just take them off and I was like I can't they're their lashing stitches like i gotta go and get them soaked off like it was bad i couldn't do nothing about it but you know after that first day beautiful the second day beautiful after that stopped it probably stopped after like two days of that happening then they stopped watering then it was fine again i don't know if it was because it was my first time and my eyes just had to adjust i don't know because i already kind of do have sensitive eyes i guess so i guess that's what it was or whatever but i wasn't feeling it then first go with it i was really like y'all as soon as i get home i'm taking them it was convenient when we were going out. I didn't have to worry about putting on no lashes. All of that was cool. They make your eyes, it gives your eyes like a natural shadow so you don't have to worry about doing eyeshadow. And they just fill out the eyes real pretty. I'm not going nowhere. Did I specify that? I ain't going nowhere. It is 9.30 on a Tuesday night. Your girl gonna do this, take a picture, and take it off and get in the bed. I ain't going nowhere. Um, now we're gonna throw a lip together. I've been feeling this one lip combo though. I haven't been looking at the camera this whole time. I'm sorry. But we right here with it now. Oh my bad battery is dying hold on i'm gonna switch out the battery all right so we back like i was saying i've been loving this one lip combo i took it with me to florida and i was loving it y'all know i like to use like a dark chocolatey brown eyeshadow honestly it lasts longer anyways just grab a pencil brush and line your lips with it so yeah, I just used the Morphe 35M, the AOA Studios E134 brush. And now I'm taking Morphe Mega Matte Lipstick in first face. And I'm going to use this in the center. I'm going to take this NYX gloss, and this is in the shade Madeline, and put this on the lips. And it's just going to kind of pull it together. 
Right now, we're going to start whipping the hair into shape. I told y'all this is going to be a full transformation. Get ready with me all that, the whole night. But I'm going to throw a wig on. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me clean up, regroup, and pull out all the hair stuff. And then we're going to start on the hair. All right, so we are back. We regrouped. I went ahead and I plugged in my curling iron back there. We have all the hair stuff. Y'all can see I changed the station up a little bit. We got the hair stuff whipped in in order because right now we're going from this to this beautiful color this beautiful wig she looking a little raggedy right now because the last time i took it off i ain't really zoom her into it so she looking a bit ghetto but i love this wig the density is so cool and thick girl when i tell you thick i mean thick i did a whole install video on this wig but i've learned a few things since that video even when i uploaded that video i had learned some new tips and tricks but that was like the first time me installing it and i have put it on recently and y'all went crazy on my insta stories so y'all probably wondering how we gonna go from this to to this okay Okay, y'all probably wondering. Um, we gonna have to do a few steps. So I'm gonna do the lazy version. If y'all wanna see a full video of me like actually in depth, putting it on and everything, let me know because I will do it. I'm not gonna do a wig cap or nothing like that because I am gonna take this off right after. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy with my hair. This is how I put on all my wigs. I usually don't braid it. I just pull my hair back. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna like slick it back right now. I'm literally just gonna pull it back because it's about to look real crazy. Oh, girl. Oh wee. Okay, I have two regular schmegular hair ties right here. But usually I just kind of like pull it back like this. And I feel like I can get it tighter. And it keeps the hair like out of the way. Especially since I'm not doing a wig cap. Ooh, I probably, I'm a little stubby. I'm literally just going to pull it back. I'm going to pull it as tight as possible. And put it in a tight little knot. Okay, in the back of my head. Can y'all see that? And then I'm gonna kind of turn the, like straggly hairs like this. I'm gonna turn it so that it's underneath. So that'll get tucked away real nice. Okay, so this is how we looking. Not slick back, not nothing. But I'm gonna show how it's gonna kind of pull together. Plus this wig is pretty tight. So it kind of pulls the hair flat anyways. I'm gonna take some Gossity Gel. I'm gonna need y'all to invest in something like this. Because if y'all put on wigs often, these are so convenient to put them on and take them off alcohol wipes so convenient they're literally just like a little wipe you take it and look you have more control of where you're wiping and everything wipe the area where i'm gonna lay the wig at so convenient gets it right off change the game now i'm gonna take some got to be hair gel this is the black and i'm gonna just take some of it it doesn't like necessarily pull my hair out when i'm taking the wig off I have my handy dandy blow dryer here i'm gonna put it on high but i'm gonna put it on full setting and and I'm gonna blow dry this until it's tacky. I'm gonna do another layer of the got to be glue and then do the same thing. And then I'll come back. Make sure that you do it on cool so that it doesn't dry too fast and that it'll actually get tacky and you can actually lay your wig. Cause if not, it's just gonna slip off and you wasted your time. So cool setting. Now we looking tacky. Wait a minute. Okay, so now we're gonna put the wig on. I make sure that the back clip goes right underneath this bun here so that it will really hang on to my hair and to my head. Flip these clips and you'll kind of see I'll flip these ones on the side and kind of maneuver it in. So I have my wig completely flipped. This is the very back. I'm just going pull it on and I tucked this back clip under. Oh, this hair is so pretty. It really doesn't need that much work to be honest. I'm gonna kind of center the hair to make sure that the part is right and then I'm gonna take these clips on the side here and just kind of slide them into my hair so that it the wig just has a little bit of a better grip and then i'm gonna take my edge brush and i'm gonna just start basically i'm gonna focus more on the baby hairs of the wig i've already pre-cut baby hairs but i just try and kind of comb those down and make sure that they don't get stuck under the lace and in doing that it usually will push the lace into the glue if not literally just take your brush or your comb or whatever and just kind of press it in and it'll do that for you and i'm gonna go ahead also and just kind of comb this hair out a bit because it's looking a bit wild she needs to be tamed just a bit and make sure to pull it down adjust it in before it like fully sets because you're gonna be stuck babes you're gonna be stuck 
I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of brush this back section back so this isn't like a full frontal it's not a full lace I wouldn't even say it's like a full closure it's a weird wig I got this during the lace shortage they construct this this wig a bit different I just have to maneuver it a little bit different so if it looks a bit weird bear with me on that part if it was a brand new unit you probably would need to use a wax stick or something to help it like lay back a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and do my edges before I start styling the hair um so I'm gonna take a little bit of hair mousse this is mousse that I always use. I use this in my wash and go as well. So I always have it on hand. Spray a little bit. It doesn't take a lot. Like this is going to be more than enough. And put it on my baby hairs. And they'll like automatically start laying. So I have these pre-cut. You'll kind of see it once it starts to lay down. And that was like super easy and quick for the most part. And like I said, it doesn't take a lot of mousse. If you use a lot, it's going to take a really long time for the edges to dry and they just won't lay how you want them to. So it's going to pretty much pull forward how I want it. I like to have that like kind of V in the front. So I'm about to go ahead and start curling. I want like some really voluptuous juice curls in this you know I ain't going nowhere I'm gonna show y'all real quick what I'm about to do but it's it's pretty tedious work what I do is I'm gonna take a section of hair it doesn't have to be a super small section at all either I'm gonna take this curling iron this is a Conair curling wand I want to say it's an inch something like that and I'm literally just gonna take this little section here and I'm gonna just start wrapping my hair around it. I know I curl hair weird as long as it gets the job done though. I'm gonna leave it on for a little minute though because I want it to be pretty tight. I do like a full like Sally Sue curl all over the head and then I'll go through once everything is done and brush it out to get those juicy curls. But I find that this way it'll last longer. I sit it on real real long. I get a real like a curl not no wave a curl. Girl, baby so yeah I'm about to go off camera y'all see how this side is looking it's looking real nice and juicy and you know just looking real cute so I'm gonna get this side right and we're gonna come back and turn this juiciness into voluptuousness we're gonna get a real nice Beyonce like blown out real cute and all right y'all so the hair is curled and as y'all can see the outfit and jewelry are on I didn't do too much I wanted it to be pretty simple it's a pretty simple fit but I think it's like I think it's still cute okay I'm going to go ahead and run my fingers through normally I would comb or brush but I'm just run my fingers through it I already sprayed it with hairspray prior to I just sprayed it with my got to be spray in the yellow spray can but I'm gonna just kind of lightly rake my fingers through and do y'all see the body the volume that it is given but what's up who gonna tell her that she killed the game I don't know the hair is still let me back up a bit so y'all can see the hair is still giving she's giving no she's definitely giving y'all get a little little sneak peek of the fit too with the little bag but we are not quite done yet babes okay uh i i ain't got the money to be buying all these like expensive fragrances and stuff but i still like to smell good and Bath and Body Works is the closest to it to get something real nice and affordable and cute. Okay, so Bath and Body Works be my best bet, okay? And my fragrance that I've been into now, y'all know, I like the blue one. I'll pop it up on the screen, the one I'm talking about, because I've been talking about that for a minute. But I just got into this new scent, which smells so good, okay? This is a pretty light scent, but it's really nice to wear during the day. And my tip is to always get both of them. Get the body cream, get the body spray, okay? And take a little bit, and I put it on my now this is the killer because the lotion scent will last all day baby and my boyfriend be hugging me and stuff and he'd be like you smell so good that's that's the kicker but not only that this will last longer if you put it on something like oil based or like creamy something like lotions will last longer than a liquid put it on top of that and it's gonna last a bit longer so then we're gonna go ahead and spray some of this and boom she smells good she looks good and purr but that's pretty much it for this video you guys i know it was extremely long but i hope you guys enjoyed but that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next one because i've been filming for like four hours now it's just like 11 it is 11 30 every time i check in it's been an hour later it is 11 30 so i'm gonna go ahead and take the pictures for the thumbnail and i'll be out but i love y'all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.